This is the district attorney's office. They put me on hold. I'm placed on hold again. Now he's Record not answering. Message at the tone. He did not call back finished. yesterday. This has been going on years. Pound for more options. And he, I told him that I feared them. This is Kiana Clark. If I told you that I feared my safety, I don't know why it wasn't a priority for my call to get returned. And I did not get a call back from the Family Violence Division either. And I told you that I was made to leave pushed and shoved. And I had a person, an employee, lie and say that two um, protection orders were lost. And then the other one just flat out denied services. If I'm going through all of this and I'm blacklisted from services from all domestic violence shelters for some reason, why is this, if you have a sincere interest in protecting me, why was this not handled with uh, care? If I've uh, addressed that I fear my safety with all these parties intervening in my protection. Now I'm calling the Family Violence Division. I was placed on hold with the Family Violence Division. Miss hey, Smarty, I'm recording this call. I talked to Tommy Lenore yesterday. Uh -huh. And he said that he was going to talk to someone from the Family Violence Division. I talked to Kara, I believe it was in November or December. She never returned my call. You said she contacted me February 17th and didn't leave a message or anything, and I didn't receive that call. So if I if it's known that I have received false arrest from police, arrested at a domestic violence support group, and I'm blacklisted from services at all domestic violence shelters, I don't know why I routinely would keep getting ignored and why someone brought it to the domestic violence place or well, family violence division and pushed and shoved me and made me leave. Well, are you guys conspirators in the abuse? I'm sorry? Are you guys conspirators in the abuse? Because I just said a lot of amazing things that are getting ignored for years. Why would I get I it? Uh, Ms. Clark, what can I do for you? The, the person who answers the phone for the Family Violence Department, what can I do for you? Yes, I just told you that Tommy Lenore was supposed to have contact to someone. Natalie lost the two protection orders. I want to know if you guys are conspirators. In the abuse that I experienced. Oh, conspirators. I'm sorry. Because uh, if I'm yeah. trying to get services and I uh, had tried to get a protection order and was forced to leave, pushed, and shoved, and my abuser's controlling you guys, and that's where I go to get protection from him, that's not safe. So I don't understand why I was forced to leave, pushed, and shoved, and why I was arrested at a domestic violence support group in some kind of way I still don't qualify for a protection order. And why I've had assaults from police. Again, Clark, again. I don't know why you would interrupt that kind of thing with police assaulting me out of corruption. Why would you interrupt that? That's serious. Are we done, Ms. Clark, or what can I do for you? So are you saying that I'm not going to get any assistance for this abuse? It's going to continue because you, you guys have the power to abuse? I don't know. I mean, this is the family violence. I got assaulted by police and it's getting ignored okay. from multiple parties and I keep right. getting mistreated. Have a seat. Number two. All right, Ms. Clark. Being assaulted by the police department is not family violence. Well, I if my abuser is setting up the assaults, if my abuser is setting up for the police to do this and I can't get services or law enforcement okay. anywhere on the planet and I got Clark. pushed and shoved there trying Clark. to get services... Jason Gardner of Vivid Images. I just want to know why I can't get services there to have to combat the corruption and the abuse. Just the abuse. I have no control over any kind of corruption. I am just the receptionist. Now, Jason Gardner is the person who abused you. Uh, Vivid Images. I believe think he's setting all this stuff up. Ms. Clark, when was the last recent physical incident? 
the I I don't I am um, railroaded and denied services from multiple different entities and law enforcement right now. I can't get law enforcement. I can't get any victims advocacy anywhere from a domestic violence place anywhere. I can't get the DA to investigate. There's a lot of corruption. I had my mail was interrupted. My child custody rights are interrupted. And I can't get compassion for all the chaos. People always are stern with me and mistreat me. Well, I was that wasn't very compassionate for me to get pushed and shoved for trying to get protected and for uh, Tommy Lenore not to return my call or anyone else from that department. He, I just, let me repeat myself. No, that's not necessary. Please answer the question. The well, he, he doesn't, that's not how the abuse is. He has, he has people of power abuse their power to uh, mistreat me. That's not how the okay. abuse is. He has for places deny violence, me services. For family violence, there has to be some form of physical violence between you and the other party. Okay, what about the stalking that he has the police department stalk and multiple agencies deny me services, including law enforcement? I cannot address that because that's not considered family violence. You're calling family violence for family violence assistance, and we do what we can, but you're not answering my question. When was the last physical uh, incident between you and Jason? Clark? Yes, what I'm, the way I don't know how to be directed, sir, because there's so many people that have a stalking covering for it. If I'm assaulted by police, that doesn't qualify for family violence? Correct. It does not. Yet that would be something internal that you would have to take up with the police department. And if necessary, the proper charges would be filed against those particular officers. That they're, they're not. No one will do an investigation. But if I, if I, if he is like multiple parties are protecting him, because if he set up, set it up. Hold on a second, Mr. Clark. Hold on. Don't go anywhere, okay? Sure. They're gone now, so let's get back to it. So, again, the physical assault, when was the last time something physical happened between you and Jason that was considered an assault? You're right. That's not how the abuse is. He has people do it for him, okay. his dirty work. He doesn't need to do it if he can have the police department do it. Okay. He doesn't need to so, do anything okay. if he can have uh, family violence, deny services, and lie, and push and shove me. He doesn't need to do anything like that because he has people do the dirty work for him that are willing to do it for profit. As, as far as I can tell, Jason Gardner has had no influence on your visits here at the district attorney's office. You okay, well then I don't understand why uh, Kara McNeese wouldn't give me any direction on how to obtain the evidence that's needed. While well, I was arrested at a domestic violence support group, why Tyler Police Department covered for a crime that was happening to me, gave me a well, criminal trespass from the police department. those issues civilly? Unfortunately, as to why you were arrested at a family violence support group, which we have no influence over here at the DA's office, we're just well, criminal prosecutors. So if I'm denied law enforcement and uh, multiple agencies are denying me victims advocacy and um, all of the domestic violence shelters won't give me service and I think police are behind it. And are being in police are behind it? Because they came to interrupt me getting advocacy at multiple other locations. So you, and, uh, need to take, you need to take the evidence that supports your argument to the Department of Justice so they can look into Right, but why are so many parties protecting him? Why can I not get any victim advocacy for the abuser com committing these crimes and setting it up with the police department? Why won't I? Why can't I get any of support for the um, abuser and the how he's setting this up with the police department and other government government agencies? The abusers doing this and I using police departments and government I agencies. Answer questions for our office. I cannot answer questions for any other office. Right, but if my abuser's setting it up, why won't you guys assist me in getting protection from him? And he's, if he's uh, utilizing government agencies for his abuse, why won't you assist me in getting protection when the police department's denying it for years, including you guys? In order, in order for us to have a victim advocate assigned to you, there has to be a criminal charge filed from the police department here at our office for prosecution. What about a victim's and impact if statement? The, if that's the case, Clark. Now, if that's the case, then an advocate would be assigned to What about a victim's impact statement? Victim's impact statement doesn't have anything to do with the 
a sign a victim advocate from the family violence department here at the DA's office. Okay, and what is a victim? What can I do? I'm just trying to get help, and it's like multiple parties are preventing me from being safe. What do I need to do? Hold on, hold on, because I've been calling for years and getting denied services. You mean to tell me police can arrest me at a domestic violence support group, assault me from an abuser, and there's nothing I can do on the planet to protect myself and be safe, period? Where would you get that idea? That that's oh, because no one's doing anything for years. Where do I go to get protection? No domestic violence place will help me. I was arrested at one, detained for trying to get help. Police interrupted at multiple different agencies. I was drugged out of a church, threatened on dart, assaults, and nothing has been done. Okay, Ms. Clark, again, I cannot address any of this. This is the Family Violence Division. Correct. And you cannot help me? I cannot address those particular issues that you have. Can you give me any place on the planet that can give me assistance at the Family Violence Division if you're not covering for the crime? I have been trying to escape this for years, and you are fully aware and witnessed me getting pushed and shoved and made to leave. Ms. Clark, I'm not going to play these mind games. If you you, I don't know why you're gaslighting me again, sir. These are serious crimes that have happened to me that consistently keep getting ignored. I don't even know what gaslighting is. Is that we are happy to assist only when you cooperate with us and we'll screen you for a protective order. Now there is Ms. Clark, now there is a possibility that you will not qualify for the protective order because of the law of what the requirement for a protective order is. There is that possibility. Right, but my rights are being withheld from me, and that's why I'm calling the Family Violence Division to find them, and the Family Violence Division is withholding, withholding education, which is what you're supposed to do, give the victims information on how they can be protected, but no one will do it. That's why I'm questioning if, these, if you're being controlled. The only way that we can, again, talk with you as far as these kind of incidents is, is that there needs to be a case filed here at our office. Right. Like I said, police are covering it up. How can I protect myself from the family violence division from all that chaos I experience if you are have a legitimate interest in protecting me? If you don't and my abuser's controlling you, I thought that was criminal. If you if this is a family violence division and you know I was assaulted and arrested by police for sitting at a support group, if someone came on property there, made me leave, pushed and shoved to prevent me from getting a uh, protection order, police interrupted at George Allen. They're denying um, law enforcement. I've had multiple assaults that were ignored. Someone pulled a gun on me that was ignored. That that's family violence. Police assaulting someone. If he's setting it up, why cannot the family violence division not give me any word where I can get law enforcement out of this corruption for years? the answer to that question. Well, I think the answer lies when I was pushed and shoved and when I was removed at the George Allen building and how they why they won't investigate the Salvation Army for detaining me because I think no one called them. I think they set it up. And if police department and multiple government agencies are used to aid in abuse, that's criminal. Especially dangerous if people choose to abuse their power. This is my life that's in jeopardy that people keep ignoring it for years. This is the Family Violence Division. If someone is abusing government resources for abuse, that's dangerous. And that is not our task to investigate that. It's like you stated, well, it's family it's violence. It's family violence if someone is using the government to you could contribute to abuse and you're ignoring that me and not, denying services. That is, that is not family violence. Where would I go for assistance in if he is you abusing government resources and having police assault me out of abuse? Where do I go that for is, assistance? The Department of Justice. They're the ones that would conduct an investigation among any police agent. Okay, because no place will give me any um, help for um, domestic violence or for the uh, being a victim of the domestic violence abuse. No, um, no place. I period. Cannot, I cannot speak for other agencies. Well, that's part of the abuse. Agency. That's part of the abuse, which I can't communicate, and especially getting pushed and shoved and forced to leave. Yeah, it's like we're going around in circles. Well, I mean, because my life is, but people have been playing games with my life for years, going around in circles, playing with my games with my life. And I would think that Family Violence Division and Child Abuse Division would have a little bit more compassion in my experience and not have the security make me leave or secure a uh, police come interrupted at the George Allen. I think, 
trying to be compassionate throughout this entire phone call. Well, you're yeah. still not providing me with any place, any advocacy or resources to get help. You just keep telling okay. me that you can't help. Okay. Where am I supposed to go? The Department of Justice? For, uh, if I'm blacklisted from services in DV? I already suggested that if you believe there is corruption within the police agency, then yes, the Department of Justice would be the one to investigate that. Now, as far as the domestic violence and advocacy, again, we can assign you an advocate, but only when we have a case filed here at the District Attorney's Office that we're currently prosecuting. Other than that, we can see if you qualify for a protective order again, but I would still need to gather some information, but you can't seem to want to tell me when the last time something, some sort of a physical assault happened between you and Jason. Well, sir, I think that you're being abusive because if I went over all those different things and I don't know where your compassion would be if police assaulted me and if I was arrested at a domestic violence support group, I think that that's a red flag that maybe you're in you have integrity issues. That's a lot of serious things that happen. And for this to be the family violence division and someone brought the chaos there. And the same security, the same security that removed me there also removed me from trying to get legal advocacy, advocacy at the George Allen building. So there's a pattern of people violating my rights. Okay. Is there anything else I can do for you, Ms. Clark? No, I think that someone needs to intervene in the chaos and abuse. I don't know how much would be enough evidence for this to end. I've, you've been denying me services for years. I can't get services anywhere. And this is a travesty. I think for people to abuse their power to this degree, even to interrupt mail. I mean, how, how many people can interrupt mail and have my bank not give me my funds and it's still ignored for year after year? All right, Ms. Clark, you have a good day. So I can't get services anywhere. They've been doing this for years. I don't know what else to do.